Here we are. So, I felt like taking you on another tour of the garden. <laughs> I know it's just vegetable porn these days, but I just love it. Uh, this time, I've got the kids with me. Look how pretty Lulu looks. Super cool around here. I go on loads of different walks up, up into the uh, the vineyards up there. There's some amazing little spots, very similar to Bali in some areas on the north side, the north facing side of this mountain. On the south facing side, it's actually much uh, harsher, drier kind of landscapes with less naturally growing food. Hey, look, here's a fig tree. Just boom. Just growing right there. Just a little baby. I'm probably going to dig that up, put it in a pot, keep it with us. But yeah, you won't find that kind of thing on the uh, south facing side of this valley. So, uh, so it's very lush here because temperatures are high, but there's a lot of um, humidity. Soon we're going to have berries galore. <laughs> Hazelnuts. I'm sure they're coming. Today's compost. <laughs> now this little bit of land, I'm quite excited about. So this belongs to a neighbor of ours who has said that I can have it. What I intend to do is put polytunnels here so we can continue our growing all year round. Pretty cool, eh? Hey? One of the things I love about this region is the, um, just the kind of community. So that lady just asked for my help. She couldn't open a bottle, so I helped her out and, uh, I don't know, there's just, everyone's very friendly and she's gonna cut this area for us because there's quite, quite a lot of stinging nettles that uh, make it a bit hard for the kids to walk through. Uh, I just wanna show you our watering system, which is right here. So that little baby goes in there. And Pressure's pretty good. Right. So I'm just going to quickly show you Doris's bit again. Our amazing neighbour who's German and um, she's our sort of spiritual and garden guide. Hello. Hello. You got a picture from what? Oh yes, the cat! Yes, I have a cat. So anyway, you have to wait six weeks when your mother stops, stops nudging. Did you hear that, Lulu? We're gonna get a cat! Yeah! Yeah? yeah. And you gonna look after the cat? Done half the garden, done that side already with the hose, just filling up now so we can continue with the uh, watering can. What did I want to show you? Oh yeah, these, look at this. <laughs> so great. So that, I think it's coming with us today and is going in the dehydrator to make chips. Possibly. Anyway, these guys are coming on so great. Sunshine tour, morning tour, what have we got? Ginger, crazy big, sunflowers, berries, which as I said, they're gonna expand more into this area. We want loads and loads of berries next year. Sunflowers, artichokes, wine, wine well grapes there's another vine which uh is just kind of doing its own thing over here nice a 
we just ordered a, a new paddling pool. This one rocks, it's got a slide, it's got fountains and you kids are gonna absolutely love it. Favorite, just for the colors, purple cabbage. Oh, delightful. There's that. It's just beautiful. And you know what? Those seeds, they came from sprouting seeds. So I bought like thousands of them for sprouting, uh, you know, for eating after they're like one week old. And I just thought I'll try a few, uh, you know, and look at them. And the weird thing is that sprouting seeds cost way less. So, you know, why, why pay the extra? I, I don't really understand. But yeah, so just continuing on the sunny side, we're leaving uh, these plants growing because um, Doris tells us that these plants scare away the mice, which can uh, cause problems around here. See, there are some uh, little leeks. These are leeks. <laughs> so small to begin with. You almost don't see them. And then there's so many random bits around here, which I just love. Random bit, random bit. <laughs> Ow. And a lot of stinging nettles, which are actually really nutritious and good for my hair growth. Look at these. I have never tried topinambur, and I'm not even sure if that's the right English word for it, but underneath that lot is a kind of uh, root thing, a bit like ginger. But anyway, we'll find out what it tastes like at the end of this year. So, um, it's been interesting to know that these guys are massive compared to the ones that we put over here. Which is doing okay, you know, I mean, they're getting there. Can't complain, there's tomatoes, but there's no question that the other one's bigger. Something to do with positioning, soil type, not quite sure. And I think my frame may have been a bit over optimistic, but you know, aim high, hit high, all that. <laughs> What's going on with these guys? So small. Clementine, 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 pear, apples, apples, lemons, watermelon. It's funny, the watermelons at home look way healthier than the ones we've got here in the garden. But again, it could be positioning, maybe they're not getting enough sun. This area gets uh, sun in the afternoon, like very intense sun in the afternoon so yeah so over there is spain so that is south so the sun the sun goes like that and this sun gets super hot in the afternoons that's what i've got to do today collect uh spinach seeds there's loads and loads of seeds that look very ready for collection oh excited about that right yeah i need to get that done uh, what else, what else? Onions, lettuces, look at these guys bolting like mad. Absolute crazy how fast they, they just bolt. But why not? Let's have some seeds and eat loads of salad. Right, quick jump. Oh, ah. Beetroots just looking amazing. Carrots. I think I thinned them out a bit late. They're not very stable because they got uh, used to having lots of carrots around them and then and then I took lots out, which were great. Very tasty, baby carrots. The kids love them. So yeah, the, uh, the idea behind this, obviously we're, we're collecting rocket seeds in the middle, but these cucumbers are gonna grow up onto the frame and surround it. Sabrina's amazing idea, which I think is gonna work really well. <laughs> totally doing it already. We're gonna have so many cucumbers. Okay, potatoes, huge. 
What else? Oh yes, there were some broccoli seeds I need to collect. Broccoli seeds, broccoli seeds right here. Yeah. So the interesting thing about these, I planted the seeds during a flowering time of month, which meant they went directly to flower. Didn't produce any broccoli or even any leaves really. They just made seeds, which I'm gonna put in a bag and keep. And they did it so quickly, you know, while the other broccoli's looking like this. <laughs> and they don't teach you about the right time to plant or sow or transplant generally in the world of gardening but it is it is a thing so yeah one point to make about the water is that it stops flowing from the uh, glacier up on our nearest mountain um, for a month or two of the year and uh, that's why we have these which are constantly full of water waiting for that moment Sabrina tells me this is the one to put the stuff in now. Still getting used to the whole concept of compost. <laughs> it's like nothing is waste anymore. Not even urine. Do we have any pee, -pee in here? Uh, yes, we do. That is 100% grade A Stonehill family pee and it goes on the plants. Because <laughs> like I said, nothing is waste. Oh yeah, one more thing, fruit trees. So right, yeah, we've got a fig tree here. Fig tree, elderberries coming. Didn't harvest any elderflowers, but next year I will. I want to make the cordial. Uh, out there you've got plums and cherries. This is a walnut tree see any walnuts there's one another water butt there sabrina's been building up our fence to uh, just to try and um keep it all a little bit more private in here while we uh you know while we expand so much and the price of food keeps going up uh another point i wanted to make all these stinging nettles were planted by doris they are um particularly amazing stinging nettles so yeah, over here is cherries, that's all gone. That's another walnut tree. And around here, there's some weird looking things. I don't exactly know what they are. Fluffy, fluffy apples. Fantastic. Ooh, looking good. Can I smell that? Can I smell it? Yes. Mmm, smells of um, something fresh, like almost like a lemon. Most, yes. Yes. Come on. How good is that? Just look at it. That's lunch. And. That is, is not uh, potato. Uh, it's going to go with the potatoes in the dehydrator to see what see what chips taste like. <laughs> Come on, tomatoes, you're almost there. Look at that. It's yellow. It's yellow. Almost there. Right, I think we're done. Oh, look. Good to see you again. Soon you're gonna have a friend, I think. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Cat Cat. Cat. So that's it, look at that, she cut the grass already. No more stingy nettles here. That's neighbors for you. Love that, she left the fig. 
<laughs> like she somehow knew I was going to dig it up. <laughs> so by the way, this uh, collection of goodies, that is all spinach. I decided that uh, it would be better to just pick the whole plants rather than the individual seeds and I can pick the seeds out at home. I think I did the right thing. The plants seem so dead. The seeds have got to be ready. Something else I did recently. I noticed there was some um, sorrel growing in these little bits. So I harvested sorrel seeds and I'm now growing them back in the uh, courtyard because the flavor is amazing. Very lemon zesty, high nutrition, not really regarded as a culinary herb and yet grows naturally around here. And um, why not? Foraging is all a part of how we're gonna survive in the future, just as it was in the past. put a Bitcoin sign up there at some point <laughs> once we've passed 20,000 okay you, you can do it and here's the courtyard there's a, there's a lot of pee pee <laughs> and uh, here is the courtyard the sun is currently just hitting that part well it's okay so that's it really uh, I guess I'll, I'll give you a guided tour of this place another time. Yeah. Decorate the table with that. Good idea. Let's decorate the table with that. Right. I'm going to let you in now. Uh, let's go. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob.